This is the ATEC uh, ECC DDR3 1333 MHz uh, memory. It's an RDIM RDIM uh, memory. I see it's a DDR3L, which means low voltage RAM. Usually these are rated uh, for uh, 1.5, but uh, this one is uh, 1.3. 1.35 volts. That's a 4RX4. That's the rank of the memory. Uh, so I got like 250 gigs in total. Uh, so yeah, this is a 32 gigabyte per module. And uh, yeah, I'm going to be installing uh, those on this uh, machine right here, which will be used as a home server for me. A home workstation basically so I could uh, run up uh, virtual machines and whatnot uh, so what I'm going to do right now is I'm going to install those into these uh, banks right here these uh, dim, are dim slots uh, yeah and uh, we'll check it out we'll see how it works okay as you can see I've installed uh, memory modules into the are dim slots it's uh, it's fully populated with uh, 32 gigabyte for each per each module, which total into uh, 256 uh, gigabyte RAM. So what I'm going to do right now is I'm going to power uh, this motherboard on, and uh, we'll see if it reads all uh, 256 gigabyte. And what I'm going to do after that is run memtest86 uh, to see that it works very well without errors whatsoever just to make sure I mean it's an ECC memory but still you know we want to make sure so yeah uh, let's see how it uh, looks like see if we have uh, the whole 256 gigabyte as you can see the memory works the computer posted beautifully zero problems uh, for now anyway. Uh, it detects that it has a 255 gigabyte of RAM ECC DDR3 running at 33 uh, 1333 megahertz the, the speed that it's uh, that it's uh, supposed to anyway. Uh, yeah this is the CAS latency CL9 <clears throat> it's a Samsung, it detects that it's a Samsung chip, but uh, it's an ATAC uh, brand, I guess, brand RAM, it doesn't matter. And uh, of course I'm running the uh, dual Xeon uh, 27, uh, 2673 V3, uh, clocked at uh, 2.40 2 gigahertz, uh, 24 uh, cores in total, like uh, 12 cores each for each processor, and 24 threads which totals uh, 24 cores and uh, 48 threads <clears throat> uh, yeah I'm gonna leave this uh, test running just to, just to make sure I mean it's an ECC memory so it's not gonna be a problem at all I'm pretty sure but you know I just wanna do that anyway because this is what I wanna do so so yeah this is uh this is how it looks like, the memory is installed, working great, reading all 256 gigs, working beautifully. Of course I'm running this uh, machine headless without a graphics card and these uh, processors doesn't have any integrated graphics card so I'm getting all 256, nothing has been using, being used in the integrated graphics card or anything like that so it's working great can't wait to use this thing and uh yeah take care and i'll see you in the next video